When ministers leave the seminary, they have to take the first job they're offered. That's the rule. There are no exceptions. So dad found out later that eight other ministers turned down the job. <laughs> and then Ashland Avenue, the big, busy street, the dividing line between two very different worlds, the east side and the west side. Dad's first day in church, and Mom has a special rule before we go. Now, if you misbehave, I will beat the living daylight out of you. And I mean it. And she means it. <laughs> My sister and I wear matching dresses that Mom made. Mom, I hate matching. That's too bad. It's easier that way. <laughs> we get to church. Hi, Mrs. Kruger. Oh, hello, Erica and Renata. Oh, how adorable. You match. Joan, did you make their dresses? Oh, what a talent you have. We sit next to Mom in the front pew. Oh, the ceiling is so high. There are tons of tiny specks floating in the sunbeam. They look like stars in space most important, exciting thing about Sundays is that we get to stay up and watch the Ed Sullivan Show. <laughs> <laughs> we squeeze around the couch, on the couch around the big bowl of popcorn. But me, I get right in front on the floor so I get the best view. Dad likes to laugh at the jokes and Mom likes the singers. But I love the dancers. <laughs> oh. First time I saw a woman dancing, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, how does she do that? Sometimes they sing and dance at the same time. <laughs> I study all their moves. But tonight, what? I'm so excited because Julie Andrews is singing! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, can I tell you a secret? I know she's my real mother. <laughs> but at night when all the lights are off, and the light from the street lamp shines through the window, and it shines on the floor, it's my perfect stage. Tonight, I'm going to sing and dance with Mama Julie. If I see you talk to her, I swear I will beat your teeth in. Swear you'll never do it. Swear you'll never do it. Swear, swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I, I won't. I'm sorry. You ain't done nothing wrong, Pete. You walk with who you want to walk with, and you talk to who you want to talk with. Wait. Come on. Did Get up. Go to school. Come on. Where you go? Boy, was your guardian angel. 
Guardian angel? Yes, your guardian angel, God. God loves you, he's always watching over you. Raindrops are moving in the whispers are kissing. Brown paper package is tied up in spray. These are a few of my favorite things. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay. You know what, we, Dad says we have a guardian angel. I met him on the way to school today. I don't know what he looks like, but he sounds like one of the, one of the boys who walks with the big kids. My daughter, Renata, came into my study a couple days ago and told me about something that happened to her on her way to kindergarten. She saw one of her classmates and decided to walk with her. The girl's older sister saw them together and physically attacked my daughter. They don't share the same skin color. My daughter put her hand out in friendship and was met with violence. What? What did he say? <laughs> Wait, Dad, no! Why are you telling? Oh, oh, Mrs. Kruger's looking at me. Why are all these people looking at me? Dad, Dad, what if talking about him will, will scare him away? This was my secret! Now everybody knows! Oh, maybe, maybe, what if he doesn't come back? Maybe I wasn't supposed to tell anybody. Plus, I have an announcement to make. Um, as you probably all know, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot yesterday, and Principal Gordon has decided to send you home before the morning recess. Now, your parents have been called, and they should be here to pick you up. Almost done. Oh. We run across the street, and when we pass the church, a rock flies past Mom's head and hits the church and lands on the sidewalk. I look across the street and there's a group of black men coming across Ashland Avenue. They have bricks and chains and bats. We run to the front door and Mom drops the keys. Her hand is shaking. She picks up the keys, opens the door. We rush inside. She falls on her knees and hugs me. to decide what kind of world we're going to leave them. Why did they shoot him? Didn't he have a guardian angel? The actions we take today will have an impact on generations to 